and welcome to Beads Jar. My name is Billy and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how you can make these Verme chain earrings with the fabulous Preciosa crystal drops. I hope you enjoy the project. For these beautiful Verme earrings I've chosen to do quite a delicate project to show you and how you'll wear these as well. So we'll be using the Verme chain. I've got these amazing Swarovski faceted oval beads. Um, some size 15 Mayukis round and a one inch head pin. Tool wise I'll be using some round nose pliers, flat nose pliers and side cutters. I've just got two examples here of the Verme chain. So you've got this one which has a drop with the three oval crystals and a size 15 in between each of the beads. One thing I will say is when you are choosing to work with the Verme chain, be very conscientious over the weight being too much at the front because you'll have to counterbalance that with the longer chain at the back of the ear lobe and this can not look quite as attractive. So I'd say the three crystals I've put on here are at your limit as to being too much, too heavy on the front. And then we've got just the single crystal. So I'll just show you how I've popped the single crystal onto this Verme chain. I'm just gonna take the three off now so I can show you how to create the single drop on its own on these chains. Okay, so that's our chain with nothing on it. And we're going to create one drop. So I'm going to take one of my one inch head pins and onto this I'm going to pop a size 15 seed bead. followed by one of the oval crystals and another 15 on top. So your head pin's got the little flat end here so that the beads don't come off. So we drop that down. I'm holding it at the top of the pin so that my beads are comfortably and naturally at the bottom of the pin. And I'm then gonna pick up the round nose pliers. I'm going to place the round nose pliers above the last bead on my head pin, so directly above the seed bead. The lower I work down my pliers, the bigger the loop I create, so I'm just about two millimetres into my pliers and I've got a nice firm grip. Next all I wish to do is put my thumb against my pliers and I'm going to push the head pin away from me at a 90 degree angle. So this is what it looks like from the side now. Okay, so this is where I was. So I've pushed my pin away from me. I'm then going to move my pliers. So I'm just going to release the grip on my pliers and just move my pliers upwards. So without any gripping on the head pin. I'm then going to use my finger to bring that over the top and then my thumb to push that down towards my bead mat, creating a very neat loop at the top of the head pin. Reposition your pliers into the loop so you've got a nice firm grip. So I'll just turn that around so you can see it. And we're going to wrap the excess wire around the neck of the head pin. So I'm pushing that up and I'm bringing that round and down on the head pin. We've not got much of an end here, so to help me, I'm just going to use the flat nose pliers to tease that end in. So I'm just pushing that round with the flat nose pliers. Until I don't have any of the wire of the head pin showing and I just want to centralize my drop. 
So now we've got that beautiful neat drop with a tiny spiral of wire underneath it. I'm going to put my round nose pliers down and then we're just going to simply attach the verme chain to our tiny oval bead drop. At the base of your verme chain there's a larger loop. You want to use the flat nose pliers with this loop and then you're going to open the loop. So the split's on the side so I'm just going to support that with my thumbnail and then I'm pulling the verme chain loop open and then going to attach my drop and we're closing that back together so there's no gap in the loop. And then that gives you a wonderful matching pair with those beautiful drops. So go ahead and give it a try and see how you get on with those as well. Thank you. Thank you for watching our tutorial today. Give us a big thumbs up and why not subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can see all of our latest design and inspirational ideas for you. Visit beadsjar.co.uk where you can see the fabulous range of beads that we have available. Until the next time, bye!